Well, there's a new and fun way to giving our cats a treat. And to tell us why treating our cats in playtime is so important, please welcome to the cafe, Dr. Jess Beer. Welcome. Thank you very much. It's wonderful Lo to be here. Lovely to have you here with all of these gorgeous little kitties. Um, you are a practicing vet. Yes, that's right. But you have right. a great interest in animal behavior. Yes, I have postgraduate qualifications in veterinary behavior. So huge interest in um, how we can make them mentally happy and healthy. And treats certainly go a long way to doing that. Uh, absolutely. If you are like me, they are my children. There's no two ways about it. So what can we be doing to make sure that they know that they are loved and cared for? Oh, absolutely. I mean, food is going to make anyone happy. If yeah. you bought me chocolates, I'd like you. <laughs> so um, cats do respond the same way to very simple pleasures like food. And as we can hear in the background, the cat's playing with toys as well. So enjoyment, food, toys, all in one, they're going to love you. So how do cats feel when they're given a treat? There's definitely um, a, a connection with their owners, which is good. So they appreciate that you're providing them the things that make them happy and, and feel pleasurable. So there's a real um, skyrocket of happy hormones. So they associate that with you as well as we just want the treats. Those. So they, they actually really do understand that the concept of being treated. Yes, they do. I mean, it's a learning process. All species from anemones to humans to elephants will understand the concept of a reward and something positive. They're going to keep doing whatever got them that yummy reward. That means coming up and cuddling and sitting on your lap, then they'll do that and, and they create a bond and they really love you for it. Because when we think about cats, quite often we think, well, really, they rule the house, don't they? They're the ones that demand everything. Oh, we just absolutely. Give them to their, to their but we're just their slaves. But, and, but they actually do show happiness. Oh, they do. The, the key with cats is understanding them. And um, a lot of people misunderstand cat body language and behaviour. So they miss all these signs that the cats really do care for them um, and really do enjoy them. I was going to say that one thing my cat tends to do is come and sit on me but face the other way. Doesn't want to look at me. Is that just a... That is a sign of affection. Not right. that they're not looking at you, because no. you're obviously very wonderful to look at, but um, <laughs> sitting close to you, that presence and that physical contact can be a big sign of them just feeling comfortable in your space. Why do they like to sleep around your head? You know how cats like to curl around your head? That's a really interesting question, and sometimes I wish I had the answers to everything, but I think it really is just being close to you. Um, mm. Maybe you snore and it sounds like you're purring. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's the opposite end of the spectrum? How will they tell us if they're being neglected in some way? Well, that's unfortunately something I see a lot more of as a behaviourist when we see problems developing, and, and cats can suffer from mental health issues um, without that support, that love. So... Um, They'll hide away, they'll avoid you, they might even get aggressive and get grumpy. Someone's making a break for it. So no. what's this one experiencing? Because I'm guessing this is play or is it Yeah, well, exploring? this is curiosity. Right. Cats are very well known for it. Um, probably hear all the activity in the other side and, and want to head over and do it. So a happy, healthy cat will show this kind of curiosity. And a cat that's not might be ignoring and avoiding and maybe even doing really extreme things like peeing all over your clothes right. or scratching areas that they don't like um, or even damaging themselves. So we do see extreme issues when they're not provided with all the, the love and attention that they need. So that's not a happy cat. So what are some of this the other signs cat? that your cat loves you? I mean, obviously sitting Well, there's the contact. Um, the interesting thing about cats domesticated with humans, a lot of their vocalisations are really purely for humans. Cats that live just with cats don't talk that much, but for us they do. So meows and chirps and, and twitters and all sorts of little communications is how they'll greet you when you come home. Yep. They'll run up, they'll rub around you and smooch you. Um, there's a really wonderful uh, body language sign from cats called the slow blink, which is the equivalent of I love you. Oh. And what they'll do is they'll look at you and they're all rested and then they go oh I love that and that's really a huge sign of affection they feel very comfortable in your presence and you can actually do the same thing well, back I to thought them. it was just the cats go to sleep Not no oh. if it's an actual blink yeah that's an I love you yeah. Oh. What have we got down here? Because some of these ones have been going crazy with these little mice. Yeah, these little troopers in here, Ebony and Ivory, um, oh. have, have uh, learnt how to work out these brilliant little um, temptation treat dispensing toys. So one of the best things you can do for cats is give them a way of playing with their food. It's yeah. actually OK to play with your food. Um, so we've got a lovely little... Um, mouse, obviously, we've got to bring in some theory there. It wobbles, and so it moves around and rattles. You can see little Zach there is quite interested in the yeah. food, so they can smell it. And as they toss it around like a toy, the food will fall out. So it's a wonderful toy to provide them with that pleasure and that reward of a treat. So this isn't feeding time, this is just extra play time. It could actually be feeding time. Yeah, oh, really? so you can use it just for treats. Um, but we do have a bit of an obesity problem in the pet industry as well. <laughs> so you could even feed their main meal out of that 
that and that would be appropriate as wow. well. Oh, that's awesome. Um, that was... But treats are yum. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by and bringing all these gorgeous little kitties with us as well. New Temptation Snacky Mouse is available now from participating retailers. Free with every purchase of Temptation's cat treats while stocks last. Now we have managed to get our paws on the new toy and we have 10 to give away just in time for Christmas. You can find out how to win one on our Facebook page.